Good morning everyone. This is where I camped last night. It is a beautiful place to camp. Located next to the river. Once again, Orange River. Beautiful. Here very calm water. This is fantastic. The boulder, the open space behind it, mountains, both sides, the nothingness, the solitude. Everything is so unreal. Wow, this is something else. This viewpoint is extraordinary. Wonderful. Yes, this is a game changer. This is something fantastic. And no one else around. Being alone here by yourself has no price. Yes, definitely this side of the park is amazing. If you look at it from this side, you see that it's in perfect equilibrium, but it also threatens to fall any minute. The location of the campsite is hands down the best. I don't know if it's too hot here, if you want to stay all day, because it looks very hot. But in terms of scenery, it is absolutely amazing. It is not the dead flay. Not exactly the same, but it has some resemblance. If you love desert, dead nature, that composition of colors, you're gonna love this place. It's beautiful. I have no words for it. Judge for yourself. Like those Inca temples, where the stones are perfectly cut to fit next to each other. Well, the campsite location is surreal. Unfortunately, the downside is that there are no showers. Although, for me, the location is spectacular. So if you are here late in the evening, which is not going to be that hot, I think it's a perfect spot to spend the night. I'm sure there are many people thinking, oh, can that be beautiful? And I totally understand. What is beautiful for me, maybe it's not for you. I found the desert landscapes beautiful. I don't know why. Since the first time I went to the Sahara, I thought it, that there was nothing there, but it was beautiful in its own way. But I totally agree with you. There are things that people find beautiful that I don't like at all. It's 
desert at its best. Well, this is as far as you can go to the southeast part of the park. Not as diamond prospecting area, no authorized entry. Here on the map, it's exactly here. It's a shame there is no road to go to those places. So this is the place, this is the end of the road. Welcome to Haki's Doring Hiking Camp. I'm thinking about you guys who like this lifestyle and you like to drive through national parks, especially in the US and Europe. And you go to national parks and there are traffic jams, and there are long lines, and there are a lot of cars. You need to come to a place like this. I've driven all over the park or 95% of the roads of the park and I haven't come across another car one single car this far as far as I know today was just for me because I didn't see anyone else it also has a downside if your car breaks down you don't see anyone else but you cannot ask for isolation and exclusivity and then if things go south you cannot ask for somebody to save your ass right well this was Domrock pass not really difficult but it requires full attention it's not dangerous because it's not too narrow you will not scratch your car but it's steep and some parts you need to drive in for low I think this is the most complicated pass in, in the park and speaking about complicated roads in the park when I first got to reception I asked the lady there about the roads in the park and she said oh no everything is good I don't know if the lady knows exactly how all the roads in the park are but this is not driving in Kruger Hillskloof Pass They really like steep climbs here Well I'm about to leave the Richtersfeld National Park and if you ask me why do you come here? Well, at the map that you will receive at reception shows a different species of animals that live here but most likely you won't see any of those but maybe one or two So, the animals are not the reason to come here The reason is the scenery The scenery is spectacular the problem is that it's the same scenery that you see in the conservation areas around and basically are in all the Richtersfeld region So, is it worth it to come here all the way? Because if this is far, it's far from everywhere My first thoughts yesterday were that it was the same that I've been seeing the last few days When I got to 
the southeast section of the park that was completely different there I saw something that I didn't see before that is what I think justifies a trip to this park so would I come? yes would I recommend it? yes how long would I, uh, would I come? probably 24 hours is enough the northern part of the park it's for me wasn't that interesting did I like it? yes I really liked it uh, some mountain passes especially the last two um, were kind of hard because uh, they didn't go to anything really worth it it was just to go to the main gate if you want to spend the money to enter here you have to pay park fees you have to pay camping fees uh, it's not really expensive but it's not cheap and probably you can find most of the things that you can find inside the park you can find outside the park for free so it's up to you now I'm driving towards the last point of this route of Orange River Mouth we are getting together to the Atlantic Ocean it's been a wonderful experience I really enjoyed it almost every minute it's been great for me because I gained a lot of experience with the car as you can see our boat is crossing this sand desert I don't have the feeling of being that remote anymore I hope if you have gone this far watching this video first thank you for watching second I hope you liked it and uh, let's continue with these woods this is just the beginning of this long African overland route this part is not particularly beautiful it's full of mining everywhere trucks, construction but it's the end of a journey these are the final steps of a great adventure this journey has been amazing and I would recommend it to anyone this is the bridge that connects South Africa here on this side and Namibia on the other side and it crosses over the Orange River the same river that I've been following for the last almost a thousand and one hundred kilometers so I can say that we have become good friends it's an experience that I have enjoyed a lot and I will remember forever it's not too late so I'm going to try to get to the river mouth the second you step out of a car you notice something different it smells like the ocean the Atlantic Ocean it is cool temperature around 18 degrees no more than that the place is awful awful what a shame for the end of the trip things like Chernobyl Beach but as I always say it's not the destination it's the journey hope you guys have liked it see you in the next episode